Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Those are some massive flames. You can't see it right now, but that's at least 30 feet tall. Maybe taller than that. Wow. Guys, this is not a wildfire, I promise. This is a controlled burn. Yep, this is a uh, cedar. Remember that all that cedar I pushed up? Here it is right here. Perfect time. To burn it i've been waiting for the right opportunity and today is the right day it's been raining everything is wet i brush hogged around all these cedar piles we just got the fence built but i want to burn these before we let the bison out so that's what we're doing is uh I'm out here burning these massive cedar piles and um it is hot i'm probably 25 feet and it is hot the cedar burns it very hot and it burns very fast it's been raining like i said Rained last night, it's raining this morning, and it didn't take much to get this thing going because that cedar is so, so dry. And I know you guys are looking at that power line. That power line is old and it is dead. It is not a hot power line, just so you know. One of my favorite things to do. About to burn this pile. This is probably one of the biggest ones. Got already that, in. that's our test fire right there. I just showed you. Uh, we're gonna light this one next, and this is pretty, pretty big one. It's gonna get hot.
the baby chick. in your skin. Oh gosh. And they look at that. Look how far it's in the sun. Stick into you like a little shark tooth. Grab on. everything to the center make sure it's all the heat is kind of centered around it make sure all those big logs will burn is what I'm trying to do so I'm gonna push them all inside uh, with the skid steer can't get too close because obviously it's still hot uh, the very core of these can be really hot so I'm gonna do that real quick
Well, I pushed up a whole bunch of these piles and um, you just give them time to burn and then you just keep coming back to them and pile up more and more. Um, I know I don't talk about this skid steer really at all that much, but I, I really do love this thing. When I was looking for a skid steer, I, I didn't think that um, I needed the, the, the I, I did want a cab, but I didn't think I needed all the bells and whistles as far as um, heat and air. Now, I'm not obviously using it today. I like, I like the fresh air here. This thing is, it just does a great job and I've used it so much. I got this from Keystone Tractors in Duncan, Oklahoma. Some local guys are really nice and very helpful. It's super nice to, to, to be inside on a cold, wet day like this um, and, and being able to push fire. I mean, I can push fire with this bucket on here and, and pile it back up. I can't stand there too long. Obviously, you got uh, rubber treads and then obviously you have the hydraulics um, running through the front end and stuff. So I love this New Holland and uh, this is not a promo for it. It's not paid advertising for it. I just want to say that I do appreciate this skid steer and uh, the guys uh, at um, Keystone Tractor. I want to thank them for their help. I purchased this skid steer and worked a little deal with them and stuff, but um, I really do enjoy this 332 and it's 75 horsepower too, but um, I, I could sit in this thing all day and it, it lets me do a whole bunch of work here on the farm. And you know, we have so much work to do, whether it's fence building um, and stuff like that. So it's been really nice. So oh, the other exciting part guys, besides I love burning, you can see how fast that cedar went up cedar burns so good and and it, like i said it rained yesterday or sorry it rained last night it rained uh this morning and it's raining right now so um that shows you how hot that cedar is and it's one of my favorite things to do i've been very patient because i've been wanting to burn oh uh, these i don't know seven eight piles of cedar that uh we cleaned out from the fence and uh, as you can tell, um, this video is coming soon, but take a look right there. Yes, that is the new fence. And um, because I'm burning this, we've got green grass right over here, new fence, new gates. We're burning these brush piles. I hope you guys are, are understanding where I'm at here on this. Uh, the big Joe herd is coming out here very, very soon. That is the next big thing. So. Uh, tune in for that because if you know me that is one of my favorite things to do and if you've been a long follower you know that Ooh. <laughs> this is not a good place to be uh, you guys know one of my favorite things is to let the bison out in a new pasture and uh, that's what's going to happen um, and then one of the next upcoming videos. So I hope you're ready for that. So, hey, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.